being a text of a press conference by Nigeria First on the activities on, of some shadowy international groups planning to launch a smear campaign against the immediate past chief of army staff, Le Lieutenant General Tuko Buratai, alleging the killings of Igbos by the Nigerian army under his watch as chief of army staff. We wish to inform the general, the generality of Nigerians that indeed the plot is real and enemies resources have been a mark to discredit the personality of the immediate past chief of army staff and call to question his stewardship of the Nigeria army while he held sway. Consequently, we may wish to recall that the public space has been inundated with outright falsehood in recent times through press statements, press conferences, opinion articles, and news stories discrediting the immediate past chief of army staff. The, the overaching objective is to discredit all the noble achievements of, of Lieutenant General Tuko Burata while in office in the plural attempt to instigating the general public against the Nigerian army as an institution of repute. Nigeria First as an organization is indeed aware that this despicable element will go any length to destroy the Nigerian army by publishing baseless fictitious and unsubstantiated report using ethnicity and religion to break the ranks of the Nigerian army in an attempt to destroy the Nigerian army as an institution. One of such instances is the recent die trap alleging the immediate past chief of army staff indeed ordered for the killing of Igbos by troops of the Nigerian army. The outright falsehood indeed must not be allowed to stand because of the consequences it might have on the overall psyche of the Nigerian populace. The assumption that some Igbos were executed on the instructions of the immediate past chief of army staff remains a figment of the imagination as the institutional framework introduced by the Lieutenant General Tukuburatai in the Nigerian army does not give room for religious or ethnic sentiments. This is indeed culmination of attempts by some enemies of Nigeria hiding under the auspices of an international coalition who would go to any length to destroy the Nigerian army as an institution of repute. It is instructive to state that the people behind these claims are doing everything possible to discourage the new service chiefs from delivering on the mandate that Mr. President and the Constitution has empowered them to fight the virus security challenges facing the country. Nigeria first condemns this act of sabotage in the strongest term and wishes to sound a note of warning to those faming the drums of religion and ethnic war in the country to disease from such ignorable endeavors in the interest of peace and tranquility and the continuing existence of Nigeria as a country.